So let's move over to uh, those of us who came to the belief at some point in our young lives that filmed entertainment or, docu or film documentaries actually could have a positive impact on the world and held on to it into the later stages of life. And I know, Ed, that you're similar to me in that. And we talk a lot in our business about the concept of accessibility and what kind of an audience we can reach and to what level we can reach them. And when I first met you, you said you had a slate of projects that were much more entertainment related that you put on hold so you can could continue to focus more on the story you're telling about Sydney. And I know from being in the business long enough that we don't do that unless we believe we can really have an impact, especially with a project like this, which I'm sure so far is not putting you in the zone of retirement anytime soon. So why are you passionate about this one? Why have you continued on as much as you have? And what do you see as the potential for change when your film is finally, finally done? And, and, and what do you think the impact is going to be overall on our society and on the awareness of airway health? Well, first of all, uh, Peter, I don't know how you're doing this whole project because this marathon has been amazing and you've done an incredible job and all of the doctors here, Howie, and everyone that, were, that are behind the scenes is just incredible. So kudos to you. Um, this film started as a personal story about Sydney, but pretty soon we realized that Sydney wasn't making this all up. It wasn't a fantasy that she had a real problem because Sydney is an optimistic, brave, energetic person um, that then just poops out at a certain time and sort of checks out and doesn't find fulfillment in her life. And when we saw that happen, we realized there's a problem here and it's not mental and it's not just stress. Those might be factors, but there's something else going on here. So we're travelers, you know, we're not, we're not specifically airway people. We're filmmakers who are travelers and observers on the journey with Sydney. And we realized that Sydney and Dr. Avis were really trying to find a solution to a very real problem that wasn't just Sydney's. Because as we began to go to doctor and after doctor and test after test and meeting folks like Bill Hang, we realized that there are tens of thousands or more people that are experiencing um, issues like this. Um, I've gone through my own personal journey since I started the film you know, um, dealing with, uh, you know, weight loss and snoring and, and other stuff. And I've been inspired to change my own life. So we fell in love with the story. The story was <clears throat> just became amazing. And we really didn't know anything about airway. We were friends with Vic through lots of different ways. And, you know, they came to us and said, hey, you know, Sydney's going through a journey and we feel like maybe there's an opportunity to capture it. Maybe we can help some other people. We don't really know where it's going to go. Do you want to do it? And I don't know what made us say yes, because... I really don't know why we said yes, but we said yes. We were like, yeah, let's do it. And I think that we've been filming this now for almost four years. Yeah. Well, think, first of all, you can't say no to Victor Avis. That's I will just true. tell you that. That's Victor true. has roped us into other things that's before. True. That's and true. You can't. And Sydney is just so wonderful that we had to follow her. And it was like, okay, we'll just shoot a little bit more. We'll just shoot a little bit more. And then we're wading into this health care challenge you know that the world is facing and uh, we were knee deep I now we're neck deep or maybe we're over our heads i don't know and i think we came to realize that it really is a subject that affects a lot of people it's international it's everywhere and i feel like we're not scratching the surface but i feel like in a way we're we're right on the edge of a discovery that i think you guys know about and we are just sort of right behind you and hopefully the timing will be amazing and sydney i think what you've gone through and what you've done is incredible and your family's amazing to have gone through it with you and be going through it with you and be as supportive as everybody is because it's not, I'll tell you, it's not easy to watch. It has not been easy for us. Like many times I want to start crying because I'm like, I don't know how you can. Well, we were, we were getting upset before the surgery because we saw how the airway was impacting your life in a negative way. And now we are thrilled about the surgery um, but we know the recovery process is not easy. And we know that patients pass through it and six months later, they've forgotten about 
the difficulty of recovery and they're breathing and they're happy. But I will say this, and Peter, to your point about where the film is going, the last interview we did with uh, Ray Zamovahead, Dr. Movahead, I was surprised, I asked him a question, I was surprised with the answer because he's extremely confident. He knows what he's talking about. He's had an incredible success rate and he has all these tools to measure where he is. Um, stuff that you guys know about, about diameter and center, whatever, of the airway. And I asked him point blank, I said, is Sydney going to be now measurably better? In, in her, is she going to feel better? Is she going to breathe and, and, and have that fulfilled life? And what he said was, only time will tell. And even though he said, I can tell you, that her airway is, is more open because I can measure that. I can measure that there is a difference. You know, the MMA with the counterclockwise rotation did what it was supposed to do. But Sydney will have to tell us how she's feeling and it's gonna take some time for swelling and inflammation and pain to decrease to get us there. Um, you can tell that he's a director. He's adding a little bit of drama into here. But I mean, you know what, it, I guess it's like, I, I, and maybe I, I don't want to, I don't want to say anything out of turn here, but I assume it's like, you know, asking a woman while she's in labor, is she happy about having a baby? I mean, it's like, what kind of answer are you going to get? <laughs> but, but I, I'm assuming that that's, it. but, but again, a month, two, six months later, you know, you ask that question and it's, it's safe territory. So you're going to go. So, so Ed, you don't want to give away the ending, huh? Yeah, no, well, we, we, well, that's funny, Dr. Hinden, we don't have an ending yet. We're following Sydney for another year. And we worked this out with, with Dr. Avis, with Victor, that we wanted to get as many um, tests done prior, before and after. So there was some, it was at least with one patient, we have all the metrics so that we can compare, you know, um, all the scans, mm -hmm. you know, the, uh, uh, the other Dr. Hinden and his uh, uh, variable heart rate monitor and, and, com and comparing the variable heart rate and, um, you know, and, and doing a dice a second time, et cetera, et cetera, so that we can actually measure and see with Sydney's self um, diagnosis or well, most of the doctors we've said, say, you know what, people come in and say, I don't feel good or I feel better. And I know you guys deal with that. Well, we're looking for the feel better moment from Sydney. So, and then we want to take the data that we've captured and compare it before and after. And I think, I think, I truly believe, we both believe that the film in the end will save tens of thousands of lives. We believe that people I think, are going to be, yeah. 